Hi, Gemini. There are more details to this reading located in the description box, but be sure to only take what resonates and leave what does not resonate for someone else. Thank you guys so much for liking the video. I do appreciate your support. Be sure to only take what resonates and leave what does not for someone else. This reading is without you. We're going to see how they're doing without you, Gemini. I'll be pulling their hidden truth, an oracle message for you, and then at the end, we'll do their sign. So what is their hidden truth for Gemini in the month of December? What is their hidden truth toward Gemini, please? What is their hidden truth? That they're watching you. This person watches your social media. The person on your mind. Keep tabs on you, okay? I'm, I'm getting like, they just want to see what you're up to, right? They think you don't feel the same about them. They think your feelings have changed. I feel like this person is looking for any sort of a sign, Gemini, that you still want them. Like, I'm even, okay, we have the star at the bottom of the deck. That could be an Aquarius or a Sagittarius. But someone's looking for any sort of a sign to see if you still want to be with them or if you still think about them. I feel like this person is hoping that you do. Let's see, what are they up to right now? Could be traveling. Okay, what are, what are they? Two of Cups. So I feel like this person is connecting with someone else, but that's the thing. Like they're connecting with someone else and still desiring you. It's kind of like, no matter the distance between you two, they still feel that bond with you. But for a lot of you guys, I do see someone else here. I feel like this person is attempting. They're trying to move on. 10 of pentacles. They've, they're looking for a place to like, I'm getting like, they want that stable, secure environment. Like, I feel like someone is looking for a place to like live, or it's like someone wants a, you know, they want to be in a relationship, but why do I feel like this person is using somebody, Gemini? Let's see. Why the 10 of pentacles? The fool. Someone's, there's, this person is using another person or, you know, they're going to in the future. I feel like they are a user. We have uh, the Hermit here, Virgo energy. For some of you Geminis, there is a Virgo that's spying on you, watching you. I have Aquarius, Aries as well. And it could be another Gemini for some of you. So if somebody's using someone else, somebody's in another relationship thinking about you, Gemini. Where do you stand in all this? The Magician. I feel like you're just trying to manifest things for yourself. Some of you Geminis, you were very manipulative manipulative as well toward this person. That's how you would know if the reading is for you. I feel like you did have to, you know, manipulate the energies in order to break free from a situation. We have the Emperor Aries energy. We also have Virgo energy. So I'm just getting like you are taking control over your life. A lot of you are just focused on your career, using your talents, or I definitely see you becoming an entrepreneur in the future, or that potential is there, Gemini. So it looks like you're just working on projects, working on yourself. This person, seven of pentacles in reverse. They're not fully invested in this other situation. They're using somebody else. That's, I mean, that's what I'm getting. The empress in reverse. Somebody has real bad, like, mommy issues or daddy issues. Like, somebody needs someone to take care of them, whether this be, like, financially or emotionally i'm also getting like this person has violent mood swings okay with their their emotions being the empress in reverse they do experience like crazy mood swings okay toward the situation with you the lovers gemini this is somebody that one minute loves you the next minute can't stand you And they still have this deep connection with you that they they can't understand it. There's like an extreme restlessness here. And it's all because of you and the connection they feel with you. Because I feel like they haven't learned the lesson. That's what it all boils down to. This person hasn't actually learned the lesson in this connection. Meanwhile, it looks like you have. Or, you know, you're definitely progressing over here. Progressing in work or just progressing in life. And they're not. 
I feel like this person is kind of up to their same old shenanigans as well with that full card. But they're definitely using somebody else. You know, it's not that they don't like that person. I feel like they do like that person, but they, they don't really share that uh, bond. Like, I feel like they're still waiting to connect with this other person the way they connected with you. And it's just not happening. And and they're, they're noticing that they jumped into a situation way too quickly. That's why they're experiencing these, like, violent mood swings. Um, you know, the Empress in Reverse, it, it can be a very um, drastic shift in mood. And so it's like they feel like they invested in a situation too quickly. Or it's kind of like someone latched onto the first thing that came along. I feel like someone actually like took a rebound and made it a permanent situation, but they're very confused about the whole situation, hoping that they develop a strong bond with this other person that's just not happening. What do they want to do about all this? King of Pentacles. They're, um, they're just focused on their security, their finances. That's really their main focus this week. I'm feeling like the, the rest of December, Gemini, this person is just mainly focused on financial things, stability, security, money, justice. You could have divorced this person, but I see them headed for a divorce. That's what's happening here. I feel like someone got into a situation ship way too quickly, and I see them divorcing this other person. Or at least wanting to. Why do I feel like somebody is like not learning their lesson? They keep, they keep repeating these patterns. Okay. But it's telling me they know the truth about they're They're going to know the truth about their actions. Like this person knows that they're using somebody. Is what, that's the message, Gemini. That's what I'm getting. Anything else for Gemini, please? Let's see. Queen of Pentacles. I'm just seeing you focus on yourself. Gemini, uh, some of you guys, you know, this Queen of Pentacles has a rabbit. Some of you may not be seeing results as fast as you want to see them, but I feel like whether this is like a personal goal, um, you know, a business goal or some type of personal goal here, you're going to come to terms with, uh, you know, the fact that you're not seeing fast results, but but I, I, think, I think you're going to like the results. And I also see you very comfortable. Tell me more. Yeah, you're very comfortable with the plans you're making. I do see you progressing for sure. Progressing in your career or, you know, progressing. There's going to be a lot of progress in some sort of goal, goal that you have. Ace of Pentacles. For a lot of you guys, this is a, you're, you're setting up a strong financial new beginning here. Or just a strong new beginning in general. Is what I'm getting for you, Gemini. Let's see. We're going to pull you an oracle message. See what you need to surrender. Spirit, what does Gemini need to surrender right now? Okay. Surrender fear, Gemini. It says, let go of the fearful stories you are telling yourself. Stay in the moment, focus on solutions, and celebrate every baby step forward. What was I saying? That's exactly what I was getting out of this, uh, you know, you progressing forward. Uh, so celebrate every baby step. Uh, you know, you don't have to ask yourself why you need these fast results. If you're someone who's like wanting super fast results, why exactly do you need the fast results? But I feel like you guys are going to let go of that. I actually see you very comfortable with the results you are seeing in the future. But it says, let go of the fearful stories you are telling yourself. Stay in the moment. Focus on solutions and celebrate every baby step forward, Gemini. Bottom of the deck says, surrender to divine timing. Be sure to only take what resonates. We're going to do their sign now. Aries through Pisces for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And any other placements that you resonate with, their sign. Their sign for Gemini. So the sign.
signs that came out in this reading, Gemini, we have strong Virgo, Aries, Aquarius, Libra, Taurus. Okay. Those are the predominant signs. If you're dealing with an Aries, this Aries is attracted to you. They want to take action. I'm getting they're obsessed with you, but they're stuck. Okay. They don't have the confidence to take action toward you right now. If you're dealing with a Taurus, the Taurus views the situation as a disaster. They want to make peace with you, though. I feel like the Taurus is not wanting to leave things this way. If you're dealing with another Gemini, this is Gemini. You make this other Gemini happy. They want a relationship with you. If you're dealing with a Cancer, they want to give to the situation. If you're dealing with a Leo, the Leo is held back and just focused on their financial stability right now. The Leo is feeling stuck. If you're dealing with a Virgo, the Virgo wants a commitment. The Virgo feels a divine connection with you, okay? The Virgo feels that spiritual divine connection. We do have divine feminine and divine masculine out. If you're dealing with a Libra, I do see some drama coming in from a Libra. An argument, okay? But communication nonetheless. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, the Scorpio is a liar, okay? They're deceptive. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, they want you. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, the Capricorn wants you. You're a wish fulfillment of theirs. You're exactly what they want in another person. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, the Aqu there's some movement coming in. You're going to be hearing from an Aquarius. If you're dealing with a Pisces, the Pisces wants to get back together. All right, Gemini, if this gave you some clarity, I do appreciate you hitting that thumbs up button. And until next time, bye.